Hi. How are you this morning? Today is March 31st, 2017, and it's a big day because the music release I talked about a few weeks ago, or if you follow me on any social medias that I've been posting about and giving little samples of, all that kind of stuff, is released today to iTunes, Spotify, all other digital stores, including Pandora. I put it on SoundCloud a week ago, and of course Bandcamp, um, and Marmoset for licensing if you need it for your films. So it's just, uh, you know, it's every time I... This is the first time I've ever like really made a big deal out of a release because usually I just kind of release it. You know, I put it out there if I want to put it out there. And some of the music that you can license uh, that I've created isn't even on the digital stores because I just didn't do that. So this one, I made a big deal of it. This was a very important project to me, so go check that out. Uh, I'll put all those links below. Um, tell me what you think. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, what am I supposed to do? Are we in focus? <clears throat> So beyond music, I wanted to talk about just a quick tip on audio that I see this all the time, um, and because I've been kind of consumed with music, I didn't really have time to plan a vlog this week, but I see this problem all the time, whether it's YouTube videos or professional videography, professional filmmaking on Vimeo, and that problem is clicks and pops in your audio due to cuts and not fading properly. This is like rookie mistake number one, it's actually professional mistake number one because most video guys that are out there that don't have an audio background, they don't even think of this and they don't notice it. You see popular uh, vloggers on YouTube, they have pops and clicks throughout their entire audio mix and they don't even notice it probably. Um, it's just, it's rampant and it's a problem and I wanna address it. And the reason I wanna address it, or I guess the reason I'm interested in it is because I learned this from a music production standpoint. In music, it's much more noticeable because your ears are a lot more in tune with what's happening in the music, where in video, you can forgive it because you're seeing the video move along and sometimes the pop and the click is with a cut of a scene and it's less noticeable, it feels more like a cut. So there, there is some forgiveness there for video, but I still wanna address it. So if we just open up a Premiere project here, um, I will just show you, here's the timeline. We have obviously four tracks of audio here and let's just do a quick little example here. I've already soloed this track out. This particular audio track right here is for the B-roll, which is up here in the video line. So we'll just listen through this audio and see what it sounds like. Okay, so did you hear those clicks and pops? Listen to the click when we pass from the uh, this scene to that scene. You hear that click? Not that noticeable, like I said. Most people would breeze over it, but professionally, if you wanna stand out and you want your audio mix just to sound totally clean, you gotta go in and fix that. There's a couple ways to do this. Let's zoom in here, plus on the, on the Mac keyboard. I'm in Premiere, if you're in Final Cut, same principles apply, find your own tools in Final Cut, I don't know what they are. Here in Premiere, what I would do is apply the default transition, which is always gonna be this, this transition called constant power. It's basically just a fade tool, and it'll fade between the two audios, just like a crossfade in video. I would make that really, really small, as small as you possibly can, so it's just like two frames long. All that's gonna do is fade out the audio at the very end and fade it back in at the start of the new clip. Listen through it now. Nice transition there. Here, listen again. Nice transition there, again. I would do this between all your B-roll clips in a video project. So go in here, say apply default transitions, make your constant power as small as possible. Just like that, and listen through again. That's B-roll, just make sure you're fading in between um, all your cuts so you don't get those clicks and pops. Now let's look at dialogue. The same thing applies and the same thing tends to happen with dialogue. So here we have, I'll zoom in all the way here, our interview subject, I'm gonna remove that just for now for demonstration purposes. Here's an example of a hard cut on dialogue and another hard cut coming back in. One's going out, one's coming in, and we're gonna have some pop issues, so let's listen through. One of them is very easy. Are you happy with your appraiser's So it pops on the way out and it pops again on the way in. It's harder to catch because he's really got some intense voice stuff going on, but just listen through again. Very easy. You hear that pop. So there's two ways to do it. Just like we said before, you can do the default premiere, uh, constant power, make that just about a frame big. Them is very easy. 
and it's nice and it's taken care of. The other way you can do this is manually keyframe it or automate it if you're working in logic. Keyframing is automation. And just make that as small as you possibly can. So that's just taking down the volume right at the end of the clip there. It's very easy. Oh, see, we didn't do it far back enough. Them is very easy. There you go. Seamless transition. Same thing over here when you come back in. Make your uh, constant power plug in there. About a frame big. And one's keyframed, one is constant power. Same exact thing is happening. And it's smooth. Are you happy with your appraisal? Important to them is very easy. Are you happy with your appraisers currently? So that's all good. So now, since you're already on YouTube watching this, go to another video and listen for the clicks and pops. You know, if you see a quick cut between scenes and you notice the audio is cutting as well and it's in the middle of a lot of like volume, a lot of gain is happening in the audio, listen for the pops and clicks between, between cuts. And you know if there are pops and clicks, those kind of you know, clicky things that happen, then that person hasn't seen my video yet and they need to learn this stuff. Go check out my release. It's called The Beginning and the End. It's on Spotify. It's also on iTunes, SoundCloud, and it's on Bandcamp. Oh, and of course, it's on Marmoset. Okay, that's everything. Mind your audio and see you next time. <laughs>